Hello, welcome to Three Crows Runes. My name is Jen. Let's do some rune readings. So today we are doing some readings about new beginnings. Um, we are doing Burkana readings. So <laughs> new beginnings. Um, this could be something that you are beginning. This is, could be this could be something that you are bringing through into the world. Um, births, beginnings, new beginnings, and things. So we have three cards from the Wildwood tarot. Um, so feel into the cards. One of them will have a message for you about this new beginning that you are doing. Uh, will it be card number one, card number two, or card number three? I'll be reading with the Black Walnut Runes, and I will put the timestamps in the descriptions, and I will see you there. Bye! Hello, card number one people. So card number one people, I'm going to turn this over. If it's upside down, I'm going to turn it back because I'm not doing... Okay, so the journey. This is the death card. <laughs> but this is the Wildwood Tarot death card. So you have had a major change and you're starting fresh. This is like a new beginning for you. This is like a new big paradigm shift, new beginning for you. Like things, what was has ended. This is absolutely like a big, big beginning for you. So this is big change, big change for you and you're on a new journey. So let's see what the runes have to add. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my gosh. Well, it starts within. <laughs> and you're going to be putting it together. It's like you're building your new body <laughs> while you're starting this journey. Like, this, it's, you're starting from scratch. Good, though. Okay, so we'll start with that. Your central issue is Burkana reversed. These are all Burkana readings. These all have to do with beginnings and birth. You actually got this as the central issue. Uh, however, it is reversed and it's in the central issue. So you're starting this new beginning like deep inside. Something definitely ended, which is why I cackled. Um, we have Rhydo reversed. This is the rune of riding. It's the journey rune and it is reversed. So leading up to this, the journey that you were on has ended, as I said, with this card, with the cool birds on it. <laughs> so, so here you are. Um, you're starting this beginning from the foundation. You're like starting this new beginning at cell level. <laughs> you're moving forward with. So this is where you're starting. It's like, I'm going to start really fresh, like really fresh. <laughs> Build the bones. Um, what is going to help you in this moment is work with what you have, uh, control what you can. We have Ingvaz. Ingvaz is the rune of active creation. This has to do with, um, it's Ing's rune, so Ing is another name for Frey. Frey is the fertility god, so it has to do with active creation. So you are basically looking around with what, working with what you have and, and creating. You're creating and this is what's going to, you're going to build up from that. And your next step is really good because you have joy. So you're building from the beginning and as a result, you're getting like real joy out of this. Like it's, you're, you're feeling really good about it. You are also taking a moment to rest, which is really good. Like you're not, you're not building it. You're not rushing and this is important. You're giving yourself Issa time. So when you, at this next step point, um, when you're feeling really, really good about what you're doing. Oh, you know what I didn't do is I didn't talk about what wasn't going to help you right now. Okay, I should probably do that. I was so excited about all the happy, car uh, all the happy runes. Um, what isn't going to help in this moment where you are beginning your birthing process of re rebirthing yourself? Um, we have Peritho reversed. You're working very carefully with what you have and you're worried that you're going to find out something about yourself that you didn't realize before and that may be not something you like. I mean, it's, it doesn't even mean that it's going to happen, but just like you're worried about that element. But these are like ravens. Yes, they're ravens. These are ravens and this is all about the shadow. So you want to basically, you're going to want to embrace that. What, what the runes are saying is that if you're worried about the shadow, let that become one of the things that you have control over. Not control your shadow, don't do that. But this is something that you have to work with. This is one of your uh, tools in your bag of tricks. So it's very important um, to embrace all of it as you're building it up, to work with what you have. So that becomes part of it. So instead of these being completely opposite, like you're, you know, I'm building this, I'm building this, but what if something comes up that I don't like? you're going to use it too. 
you'll find a way to incorporate that because that's one of the best ways you can build um, with what you have. So, especially with something you can't lose, because like, you know, you could, you, know, you, 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 like, you might lose the magic if you lose this part of you that you don't really care about. So, it's important. Embrace it. Include it. Um, and you, you basically, almost right after this point, you're going to feel really, really good about things. We have Wunyo, which is the joy room. Um, what's going to help you in that moment is really just taking taking moments to breathe, taking moments to, like having feeling the ebb and flow of your life, <laughs> taking the time to be still when stillness isn't required. We have uh, Isa, which is the rune of ice. It has to do with stillness, standstill, uh, and through stillness comes clarity. And it is on the upper line, so that's definitely a situation. So have your periods of time of active creation and then stillness. And enjoy the joy while you're, you know, take the moment to, satur you know, to savor the joy. Now what isn't going to help is when you are feeling joyful, try not to mar it by thinking, yeah, but things are out of my control and anything could happen and some chaos thing could happen and make me upset. We have Hagalaz, the rune of the hailstorm. It's like, yeah, I just, you know, wait, it's just a matter of time before something comes in and, and wrecks it. So, <laughs> so try not to let that drag you down. Try not to let that harsh your mellow because you want to get up here into, um, Take that moment to, to breathe between active creation and then enjoy the joy. Your next step is tap into your source energy. We have uh, Sovila, which is the sun. Um, that is, I, I'm, I'm going to give you one more. I, I wasn't going to give you one more row, but I'm going to give you one more row. Because. <laughs> <laughs> and I like these runes too. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, perfect. I'm glad I did it. So this is after that moment of stillness where you're saturating in the joy and you're enjoying that, like taking the moment for that, you're going to rebuild, like you're going to continue to rebuild and on your new journey by tapping into your source energy. This is the things that you can connect with that will always energize you. The things where you, when you're doing them, you're like, I could do this all day. These are things that you can do that you that never wipe you out, they never drain you, they actually give you energy. And what is helping you there is to start slow and steady. So you're actively creating right now. You're going to go through a period of time where you're going to be just enjoying the joy, like having a moment, and then you're going to pick it up, but you're going to pick it up more slowly and with a better, with a slow pace. Uh, this is Ivaz, it's the rune of the yew tree. It has to do with patience, slow growth, slow development, and it's going to be like a, a step-by-step -step thing. You know it's going to be a journey, like a, you know it's going to be, you've got a long journey ahead, so you're not going to wear yourself out. You're going to basically take things, you're not going to push the river, you're just basically going to do things as they come to you. What isn't going to help is you are going to feel rushed. You're going to feel like how much time, you know, how, how little time is left, how much time did I waste? And you haven't wasted any time because you've been building very carefully. So bring yourself back up to, you know, like, I know this is going to be a long journey. It's like, I'm going to university and I want to do it all and all at once on the first day. It's like, you can't do that. It's going to be a few years. <laughs> so pace yourself. And what this is going to lead you to is really a greater sense of um, confidence, the ability to take care of your responsibilities. Um, and be able to have the energy to drive forward into the world. We have Tivaz, which is Tears Rune, Tears the Warrior God, but he does mostly have to do with tending duties and responsibilities. Uh, he's very, very much about that, like basically being very good about that, and also having the energy to go forward into the world and all. So that, card number one, people, is your Burkana reading. I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye! Hello, card number two people. So card number two people, I'm going to turn this. If it's upside down, I'm going to turn it right back up because we're not doing reversals, but here we go. We have it, the pole star. So it's the star, basically. <laughs> they named them all differently, but that's okay. It's, it's the star. Um, so uh, you are, what you are beginning is you're really letting yourself be guided. Um, and I'm going to say by whatever spirit is for you, you're actually allowing yourself to be guided, which is a new beginning for you. It's like you were on this more frantic, uh, urbane path before, and now you're sort of letting yourself be guided by the signs that are not visible to most. 
which is really cool. So let's get some runes out. There we go. Nice. Very, very good. I'm actually going to lay out all the runes at once. The first reading I tend to... No, you know what? I'm not. I'm going to start with a splash reading and we're going to go from there. But we did like a few lines in the other one. So that and there we go. Interesting. Interesting. So your central issue is we have Ivaz. Ivaz is the run of the yew tree. This has to do with patience, slow growth, slow development. You know this is going to be um, a relatively long journey and you're up for it. This is, you know, you've, you've let, you're letting yourself be guided and this is a whole new world for you that you're beginning into. What led to this is you learned something about yourself that you didn't realize before. Um, it was not necessarily something negative, but it's something, we have Pertho reverse. So Pertho is the run of the lot box that has to do with uh, surprises and fate. And, uh, surpri but the surprises that they, that they are is the surprises that are always, they were already there. So it is reversed and it's on the path line. So this would refer to inner. So there's been a surprise recently that you learned about yourself, something that was always there about yourself, but you didn't, you didn't realize it was there before. And that's led you to uh, choose to be guided in this and this new journey that you're starting on, this, this new Burkana journey, this new beginning. Um, what is going to help you is this is not a fast paced journey. So take the time between steps to be still, to be still and listen to the guidance that's coming in or observe the guidance that's coming in. I, uh, this is the ice rune, Isa, and Isa is about stillness, but it's the stillness through which clarity comes. And that's going to be so necessary as you move forward, especially in the first steps of this journey. What isn't going to help is don't stop. Don't stop before you start. We have Raido, which is uh, Raido reversed, which is the rune of the journey rune. It is reversed and it's on the lower line. So you may be tempted because you've done other things up until this point to go back to that sort of rut, <laughs> to that comfort zone, to that like, no, you know what? I'm used to that, and even though it's not good for me, I'm going to go back to it. Please don't do that. That's going to that's going to make you very miserable. Um, bring yourself back up into being still. Like if you have a moment where you're like, oh my God, what am I doing? Breathe, be still. You're taking one step at a time on this path and you're letting yourself be guided by whatever this star is for you. So be still, let the, let the clarity come through again and you'll see your next step. What this will, your next step of this path is, your, what this will lead you to is really, it's going to be pretty wild for you. <laughs> Um, we have Hagalaz, which is the run of the hailstorm. This has to do with sometimes chaos and the uncontrolled uncontrollables. But I'm really seeing this more as connecting to your real nature. Like you're really going to be connected to your natural energies and your natural forces. Um, there may be a bit of feeling of chaos about it. Like, oh my God, what am I doing? None of this is familiar. But at the same time, you are connecting with your natural energies, your nature. And that's something really special and really powerful. And through following this guidance, you are actually, this is something that is coming into being. And it may feel like too big for you. Like you may feel like this is so much, but it's yours and it's you and it's like your power and it's really exciting. What is going to help is we have Tivas. So Tivas is Tears Rune, Tears the Warrior God. This has to do with, yes, continuing forward. Consider it a quest. And, and like remind yourself, this is a quest, this is my quest, I'm going to do this. And, and that'll help energize you to keep going doing this. At the same time, make sure that all of your duties and responsibilities are taken care of. Like Tyr was all about that. He was very much about making sure that everything was taken care of, that he had responsibility for. So there's that. <laughs> and that's really, really going to help. It's like that, that old uh, Zen thing about you know, before, or is it Zen? I don't know. There was an enlightenment thing about, you know, before enlightenment, you know, you know gather wood, boil water, cook rice. After enlightenment, gather wood, cook, <laughs> boil water, cook rice. So it's, it's basically, you still have to take care of things, but can, you know, this is your quest. You know, if it's, if it feels really big, it's like, okay, well, this is big, but it's my quest. And you'll continue to let yourself be guided through it. What isn't going to help is you're going to see things that you're going to want to try to shape into being something that it isn't. And that's not going to help you on your path. 
Um, so resist the urge to reframe things. Like when you're going through it, like you'll see things that are you know big and new and, and exciting, but try not to make them what they aren't. Like you may want to do this whether it's for comfort reasons or for um, to make it smaller than it is so that you don't frighten the people that you love. But honestly, this is your big quest and and you can handle this. You're strong, you are capable, and you're just going to take care of the things that you need to take care of um, and drive forward with this. And you're learning about yourself and it's very exciting. Your next step is you're really going to be seeing the fruits of your labors from this. Like you are going to be getting a lot coming up from this that is really going to nourish you. It's going to make you feel that your life is more rich. It's really, really good. Um, what's going to help you? Here's Burkana. These are Burkana readings. So here's Burkana. Embrace this new beginning. Like you already sort of were, but it was tentative up until this point because you were just letting yourself be guided. But at this point, once you start to see really the fruits of your labors coming through, you're going to be like, okay, I am fully beginning. Like I'm committing to this more than I ever have before. I am committing to this new beginning and you really are becoming a new you. Um, you're birthing a new you. And that's what is going to help you the most is just embracing that. What isn't going to help is you may feel like panicked because the new you is very different and you may feel like this is an emergency. I need to do something. And you may have this panicked feeling like now that these are reversed, like I need to drop everything and, and change things. But bring yourself back up to this where you're like, okay, that's just a worry. It's because I'm not used to this, but I'm going to grow into it because I have just been born. Exciting. So <laughs> that's what's going to help you. So the last step on your spread is we have a vase. A vase is the rune of the horse. Excuse me. Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> the last uh, the last rune is, is a vase, which is the rune of the horse. The horse has to do with movement, but also spirit. Definitely from this point, don't stop now. Keep going, for, keep moving forward. Gallop, 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 and follow spirit. Let spirit continue to carry you because that's what's going to continue you on this path of your new beginning. And it's very, very exciting card number two, people. So I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye. Hello, card number three, people. So we're going to turn this card. If it's upside down, I'm going to turn it back because we're not doing reversals. So I'm mean, we're not doing reversals today. When are you going to do reversals, Jen? Well, <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Um, so anyway, Queen of Arrows, this is basically the Queen of uh, Wands. So it has to do with communication, it has to do with will. Um, she nurtures uh, she nurtures an endeavor that has to do with um, enacting your will. So something has, and, and also communication, but mostly I'm seeing like the fiery sort of, even though she's on the water, <laughs> with the will. So you, there's something that you want to do that you're wanting to enact at this point. And right now you're nourishing, sorry, nurturing that. Something to do with enacting yourself, so something that you want to do, some change you want to affect in the world. So this is where your bacana is, where your beginning is. Interesting, interesting, okay. Mother of invention, <laughs> kind of, kind of. Alrighty, let's get these down. I'm just gonna start with a splash reading and then we're gonna build to the right as usual. All right, central issue here is Pertho Reverse. So Pertho is the rune of the lot box. This has to do with surprises and fate, but it has to do with surprises that were always there. When it's reversed, it has to do with something about yourself, some inner revelation that you've had where it's a surprise to you, but it's something that was always there. Leading up to this, we have uh, Nauthis. Nauthis is the rune of need. Um, there were needs that you needed to take care of, needs that you needed to tend, and you felt like you were lacking. You felt things were constrained. And you were like, you know what, I'm going to do something about that, which is what the Queen of Arrows is. Like in, a, in as nurturing a way as possible, I'm going to fix this and I'm going to enact my will and <laughs> make this work. And through doing that, you've learned something about yourself that you didn't know before. And that's very exciting. Um, what is going to help you is take it step by step. This is something new that you're going to be wanting to integrate. Um, this is the yew tree rune, so we have uh, it's patience, slow growth, slow development. Uh, just embrace that path, embrace that 
embrace this new beginning. This is like, this is my new beginning. I can see the path going off ahead, but it's mine. Um, what isn't going to help is try not to wrestle things into the shape that you want them to be in immediately. Uh, this is not going to be an immediate thing. This is going to be something that is going to take time. It's going to be a, a, a journey. It's going to be like a slow growth, slow development, step by step. So you have learned this thing about yourself. This is really important and good, but you know that it's going to take steps to make this happen. Your next step on the path line is Uruz. Uruz is the rune of the wild ox. This has to do with strength and health and stubbornness, which it's going to take to keep going. <laughs> um, you're very strong. You're inherently strong. Wild ox doesn't lift weights. Interesting. So, you know, these are Burkana readings, and Burkana has shown up in every one of these readings, and I'm really pleased about that. <laughs> I'm not looking. These are all coming out as they will, but it's nice to see the, the rune that I'm using as the name of these readings being represented in every reading that I'm doing. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, your next step after this step where you are now, where you're like, okay, I see this is a journey. I can see this in front of me. I'm going to take this step by step. I'm not going to push the river, but this needs to be done. Um, and I'm incorporating this new part of me that I didn't realize was there. So at your next step, you have pretty much integrated it uh, you're feeling very strong, very grounded, very healthy, and also very stubborn in a good way where you are just going to keep going. You're going to keep pushing forward on this. Now, you are steadfast as the ox. What isn't going to help is we have Avas. Sorry, what is going to help, we have Avas reversed. Um, Avas upright is not going to help. Avas reversed is going to help. Avas is the horse. The horse has to do with movement and spirit. Um, but it mostly, I'm going to read this a couple ways. So first of all, you're not going to be doing a lot of running around. You have your path. You're not going to be running around the path. You're going to be <laughs> staying the path. You're going to be moving forward on your path and not, you know, wearing yourself out running around other places. You, but the other way I'm going to read this is you're going to tap into your inner spirit. You're going to like let your inner spirit carry you. And this is this is already going on because you're going step by step on the path. But you want to connect with something a little greater than yourself, but within probably where this came from, this revelation that you didn't know about yourself and now you know. Um, and let that continue to carry you forward. As well as just not wasting energy running around. You know your path, you know your steps, and you just need to take them. Like you know your next step and be steady. Steady, steadfast, grounded, <laughs> and keep pushing forward because you got to um, What isn't going to help is you're worried about this new beginning um, because you didn't have this realization until like basically right now and and it's a new thing and it's a bit worrying because you're sort of worried about you know this is the new you that you're birthing and you're kind of like hmm that could drag you down um, and it could also make you a little bit flighty but just basically stay the course, stay, stay on the path, uh, stay steady, stay steadfast. Uh, remember your deep strength. You have great strength. You are very strong. Um, you're stronger now than you were before because before you didn't know about this. So your next step, interestingly, we have Rilo reversed. So this could be the end of this chapter of your new journey. So it's like a, a quick beginning. It's the, it's the end of the beginning of this new journey with your new aspect of self that you didn't realize you had. But I could also say this is you turning your journey inward because you may also have to deal with some of that. Look inward and, and move inwardly and have a look inside and see if all that's moving forward with you with this new aspect. Make sure everything is good. Mostly though I'm sort of seeing this as like okay after that point you're going to sort of close the chapter on it's like, okay, I, I discovered this about myself, I integrated it, and now I'm going to sort of close that and move forward into the next chapter. What is going to help is you feel really good at that point. Like, you're going to feel very worthy. You're going to feel like you have more richness in your life. We have Fehu, which is the rune of wealth and worth. Um, it's cattle, so it's the wealth that you tend. So it's, it's things that make your life rich if you're taking care of them. And that's what's going to help you at that point where you're closing the chapter on the new beginning and you're moving on to the next chapter with this incorporated new aspect of self. 
Um, what isn't going to help is you may feel like you're going it alone. You may feel like you're not getting any outside support. We have Algae's Reversed, which is the rune of protection and support. It's the moose, and <laughs> it's basically on the lower line. I'm really seeing this more as a worry. You, you probably aren't as unsupported on the outside as you think, but you do sort of feel like, you know, nobody knows what I'm going through. However, you know what you're going through, and you know what you went through, and you know that your life is more rich now that you've incorporated this new aspect of who you are. New beginning, new you, maybe nobody will notice, but that's fine. You know, and you notice, and your life is better for it. So your last step on this particular spread is we have Tivaz. Tivaz is the rune of Tyr. Tyr is the warrior god. This has to do with... Um, tending duties and responsibilities, but honestly, I'm going to really read this mostly as driving forward into the world on your new quest in the world, whatever that may be, just like being ready and being with lots of energy and being able to move forward into the world with more energy and uh, more, actually, this is will, this is will, so this is like yang energy. Um, you're able to enact your will more than you ever were before, so you nurtured it up until this point and now you're like, yeah, I can carry it now. So that's really cool. So there you go, card number three, people, your Burkana reading. I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye.